Good morning. It is Friday, August 28th. Greetings to all of you who are joining me here today. Um, if you're joining for the first time, I'm Lori Landon, one of the pastors at First UMC in Kirksville. And I'm wondering, how's it been with your week this week? Um, I hope that things are going well for you. Um, in the middle of whatever the ups and downs this week has brought. I know for a lot of folks here in the Kirksville area, it has been a back to school season. Um, the Kirksville Public Schools started up, Truman has already started up now. But this back to school season looks a lot different than it ever has in the past. And people are juggling a mix of in-person and virtual classes at the college level for our families and educators, they may have different in-person schedules, they may have virtual learning going on at home, over the computer, they may have a mix of all of those. And I think a lot of us are juggling rhythms in ways that we've never had to before. And if our um, house is any indication, it will be a long time before there feels like there's much sense of rhythm in this school year. Um, and lately I've noticed that a lot of those ways that we used to mark distinctions between the rhythms of rest and work even are seem to be less than they were in the past. I was reading something by Frederick Beekner the other day and what stood out wasn't what he was actually writing, but it was the way he introduced it. Um, he was writing from several decades ago now and he wrote, when the evening news comes on, Hundreds of thousands of people all over the earth are watching it on their TV screens or listening to it on their radios. And as I read that, I thought, oh my goodness, that feels like such a long time ago that that evening news was a part of daily life for many, many people. A part of that evening ritual that marked the end of a workday winding down and then the beginning of time at home. Because I thought for a lot of folks, that first jolt of news may come seconds after we reach for the phone to hit the alarm. And then that begins a constant stream throughout the day, rather than just a morning paper over breakfast or a half hour at different points in the evening. That little glitch, folks, uh, what were we talking about? That technology that connects us, that sometimes is wonderful. Um, sometimes it connects us to the world outside our doors a little too well. And our waking hours become a constant stream where work and news and learning and communicating with others through text and email and video chat and instant messages, it just can all mix in together. And sometimes it's a little overwhelming. Well, I had a photo memory pop up this morning it, that somehow ties into this follow with the train of thought. It was a picture of a young child riding a stick horse, a unicorn, actually, on the sidewalk in front of our house. And it was a season where we were homeschooling and the boundaries between school and the rest of the life were really blurry. Stu whether, were the kids student or child at that moment? Was I mom? Was I teacher? Were we at the dining room table? Were we at the school desk? And so we decided we needed a new ritual. So each morning before school time, the kids would head out the back door and I'd give them a hug for the day. They would mount their stick horses, unicorn for one of them, and gallop around the house. And in that time, I would put on my teacher hat and I would greet them at the front door, ready to begin our day of learning. It didn't last for very long, but in that season, it helped set some necessary boundaries and have some times where we could focus on just one thing. The laundry could wait, the dishes could wait. We would focus on school, even though we were in the same place where we did everything else. We used a simple action to distinguish between a time of work and a time of rest. And so as we're thinking about that question this week, how is it with your soul? I wonder, I wonder if there might be some simple ways 
that we might set some healthy boundaries in our life especially if there's a constant swirl of input and activity to find some ways to set our work down and enjoy times of rest to practice simply being present and focused on just one activity sometimes now maybe our ritual is riding a unicorn around the house probably not but it may look like clearing off the workspace and saying this is enough for today. I can pick it back up tomorrow. And then setting the table for a meal together. Maybe it's plugging the phone into charge in a different room. Maybe it's lighting a candle. Maybe it's as simple as when we eat. Even if it's in front of the television, maybe we grab a napkin and we spread it out to remind ourselves to be present in that moment. Whatever those simple acts are for you, we just might find that our souls get renewed in the process. So I'm going to send us off with a little prayer today as we head into this weekend. Lord, we thank you for all the everything that you send our way. Sometimes it feels like way too much. And if we find that things are getting blurry, Help us find those ways to be present to a single task at a time. Help us find the times we need to simply press pause. Help us to look for the reminders of rest and to embrace those when they come. Because there's so much in this world that is not in our control. Give us wisdom for the things that are. Help us love you and love our neighbors well. And we pray all this in the name of your son Jesus, whom you sent to live among us. Amen. Well, friends, as you go into your weekend, remember our worship is online only for this Sunday and next Sunday. Um, so we'll hope to see you there. And stay tuned for the weeks after that. We'll send out some communications soon, um, probably within the next couple weeks. So go have a lovely day. And if you discover a good ritual that works for you to shift gears, drop me a line. I would love to hear what it is. And if you're riding a unicorn around the house, I definitely want to see a picture of that one. Take care, friends, and we'll see you next week.